morning. Today we are going to go over lesson three. Today we are going to talk about the magician. Now keep in mind I'm using the New Beginnings deck. I prefer you to start with the right or wait. Um, however, I don't tend to have one handy. I tend to go through those often. Um, so the New Beginning is kind of a 180 reversal of the right or wait. As we see here, we have the magician from the back view instead of the front. The magician's element is Mercury, and you know, this is the second step in the fool's journey. He starts as a baby, and now he's starting to learn some schooling. Um, the magician is kind of an interesting card. If you look at the way his hands are, one is up holding a candle lit on both ends, and one is pointing to the ground. This is somebody who is saying, as above and so below because I command it to be so. Now one interesting thing to learn about the magician and know is that he wears a white robe underneath and a red one on the top. And what that signifies is that he doesn't let his passions overcome his pure desires. Meaning he has balance and he has harmony. The magician is a scholar, a student, the master of a trade. This could be a teacher, a historian, somebody who is definitely very gifted when it comes to intellectual things. If you look at the table, it is the color of tan, which is the color of human skin. And if you look real close with your magnifying glass, you'll see a bunch of alchemic symbols on there. The magician in this card has a monkey on his back, but on the other regular sets, you won't see that. Um, esoterically, the magician is you know, he has a cosmic lemon s around his head, and he also has an Ouroboros, which is a snake eating its own tail, both of which represent infinity. Um, the white headband is a, you know, it keeps what, it's a protective thing, it keeps what needs to be safe, safe, and it helps him to retain his master, his master knowledge. It helps him also set himself apart as one who has honor and one who has power. Um, the table, of course, being tan, represents human nature. Um, it can represent Earth, all its inhabitants. The magician has control over all of it. Um, let's see. Doo -doo -doo. There's a lot of debate on the symbols. Uh, the original signs were sulfur, salt, and mercury, and of which are three fun three pillars of the the world. The t you'll notice that the table also holds a wand, a cup, a pentacle, and a sword. And these are representing the four seats of the arcana, arcana which represents him having knowledge and mastery over everything. Um, this is, let's see, the snake first devouring its own tail is eternity, as is the, the cosmic lemoness or the Ouroboros. Um, the cosmic lemoness is the sideways eight. Um, also, one thing about the snake eating its own tail, it's a circle, a continuous circle, and it, it's ongoing, never ending. The magician, you know, continues to learn, he continues to grow, and he continues to just keep going. Um, let's see. If you take a look, there's roses and lilies everywhere. Those are the red roses are passions, and the white lilies are also uh, pure intent and desires. Uh, both his passion and his pure side work together to cause a balance in him. And as such, you know, this is somebody who will really get to the heart of the matter quick. This is someone who is in total control of everything. In the upright, this can be a good thing. In the bad, or in the reverse, it becomes kind of a bad thing because he abuses power. He is the magician. He is the teacher, the scholar. This could be somebody who has occult knowledge or metaphysical insights. He's original. He has a lot of willpower and self-confidence. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> Man. 
Maybe Jovi is cold. Okay. Where were we? He's grounded. You know, he has self-control. And he's pretty much uh, able to set his mind on something and get it done. And he's a heck of a taskmaster. Um, this is somebody who can motivate everyone around them. He sees the importance of starting new projects and following them through and bringing people in and teaching them and it helps them. He is, you know, someone who was at one time probably an apprentice or studied under someone and has taken that skill among others with him. He is on a quest to fully learn. Yes. He's very expressive and imaginative. Yes, honey. This is a clever person who has a lot of wealth. Um, let's see. And keep in mind that with the magician, which as it totally represents, there's a fine line between good and bad. And this is a power card. It can either be one who's in service for all or one who just serves themselves. Um, the only limits you have with the magician are the ones that you give yourself. And no one and nothing can limit you or cause you to fall short of your duties or obligations. This is a very passionate person. Everything they do, they do it full throttle and they just have a unyielding zest. Let's see, what else? This can represent new partnerships, new love, or an old one rejuvenated, but it's also the desire to do something new. Um, they're, they're just an extremely gifted, passionate person. Sorry, we're doing the wake up thing around here. In the reverse position, you see a left handed trickster. You never do trust them, fully left handed people. I won't even get onto that tangent this morning. But this is somebody who would use their knowledge for their own personal gain and benefit. They lack self control, they're weak, they're very cunning, and they're, they're not afraid to exploit or to. Uh, definitely just take advantage of those around them if it benefits themselves. Stepping on toes. They, this would be somebody who fears their own gifts, is shy, they hesitate a lot, and they find themselves with all these skills but no way to use them. Um, this could be also represent somebody who has a verbal or physical disability in the reverse position. Beware if this card comes up because things are not as they seem and this person will seem righter than rain but they're a smooth talking con man. They are definitely not a healthy person overall. This could represent losing your imagination. Um, if this card comes up in a reading it represents you lacking your own self confidence or you may be stepping on some toes and this is a warning to be careful who you trust and what situations you allow yourself to be put into that will either hurt or betray the trust in those around you. So in that right, pretty much, you know, this is somebody who is in control of their reality and in the reverse, well, you might need to reevaluate things and just take care of who you trust and how much you trust them and allow yourself to just proceed with care because whether it's the person being read or the person who's around them that they just are wide-eyed and bushy-tailed for, they 
that's just not the most trustworthy of person in the reverse and it's someone it's kind of a warning to watch out and also to kind of be mindful of what you do and say and and your actions because you never just know how it might be misinterpreted and used against you in the magician this completes lesson three i look forward to doing lesson four next time god bless you